Hi, my name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. And in this week's episode, I take you on a road trip to the birthplace of my limited edition St. Vincent Ernie Ball Music Man signature guitar. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday Talks. So I'm taking a little road trip while I'm here in California and I'm leaving LA today to drive up to San Luis Obispo to go and visit Ernie Ball Music Man and they seem like a really really amazing bunch of people so I thought I would take uh, two days drive up I think it's like four hours there and then four hours back which will be cool my first time driving in America straight up the 101 so let's go California. <laughs> I, um, I'm just taking a little break. The scenery I've seen so far has just been, it's just been so stunning and beautiful and I'm listening to the cheesiest playlist I could possibly find, including Beyonce, uh, John Mayer, some of it's quite tasteful, Andy McKee. This is very cool. I've been to a few guitar factories now and I've really started to notice the intricacies and nuances between each brand. Ernie Ball Music Man take quality extremely seriously as you would hope they would, but they also love to experiment despite having such a large output. And that's why I felt the St. Vincent signature guitar was something for me, especially the limited edition version. Derek from Ernie Ball Music Man took me around the factory and showed me exactly what goes into their guitars. Spalted maple top right here. This is a maple shield. So the neck group. Honduran mahogany here. See how different that mahogany is from the African? Yeah. And then you have the maple shield to give it that brightness right right around the pickup ring. Tremolo. Rosewood. So it's a through neck, mahogany neck, through neck the body, and then it's got maple wings on it. Stock tone wood would be like ash. This could be a base. The tone wood would be ash, but underneath the pickups, we'd put mahogany to give it more warmth. You know, nice. give it a little bit more. Like a Les Paul sounds the way it does because it uses mahogany, but it's very heavy. So if we use just enough mahogany to where the actual pickup and string, the vibrations meet, we can capture that warmth without using mahogany on the whole body so it gives it a, a different tonality but where you want it is underneath the pickups so that's kind of our uh, trademark you kind of see the top come alive when, the, when it gets wet I'll have to spray the whole thing but that's where you kind of see the grain pattern come out when it's wet and ultimately when it's clear coated. degrees in this room. Yeah, I don't know what Celsius is. <laughs> uh, it's why. pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, this feels like wow. uh, down at home where I used to live. Here's some black St. Vincent's curating. Oh, this is an Albert Lee Telecaster. 
be a lot of collectors that want this right here. RKL with the B-Bender in there where you can... So kind of a rare little beast right there. Then I got to play a St. Vincent signature that had prototype pickups and instead of having the three mini humbuckers by Damasio, they were trying out some of their own humbuckers. You've seen me play this guitar in a few videos now and it really was just something special that I bought for myself. I just thought having one of three in the world would be quite amazing to own as a guitar collector now and I just I, I couldn't get enough of the colour and the leopard print too. So that's pretty much why I bought it. Uh, so I'm a massive fan of St Vincent, I'm a massive fan of Ernie Ball Music Man. After quite a long drive up here, I went straight to Music Man and it was just incredible. I couldn't stop myself from smiling <laughs> all the time. My cheeks hurt now. And I'm now watching the sunset in California. So yeah, very, very cool day. Just want to say thank you to Derek and the team for taking me around. Um, it was a real, real privilege. And I just feel very honored that I found something that I feel so passionate about and believe is a real art form and guitar building is um, something that I hope one day I'll have a part in too. Not actually building myself but maybe creating designs or I don't know, coming up with a signature model in some way. Getting to know your own guitar, maybe visiting a certain factory that it came from can be quite a, an, an emotional experience actually, seeing the birthplace and obviously not all of them are open to the public but some of them do do tours. You know that I play Vigier guitars too and I've seen behind the curtain there and I totally understand why the decisions have been made to make that specific makeup of the guitar and exactly the love and care that go into them and why they're so special. I really hope you enjoyed this Tuesday talk and if you haven't already please subscribe. A special thank you goes out to my VIP patrons Thank you so much for making these Tuesday Talks possible. I really appreciate every single one of you. I also have t-shirts in my merch section of my website, so go and check them out and see if you'd like anything.